All right, good morning. Uh, classic old school vlog today. I'm heading out towards the Ribble Valley, heading north. Uh, got a few hours to do today. Going to do about four, four and a half in total. And I got some nasty efforts to do today throughout the ride. I haven't started any of the efforts yet. I'm just uh, cruising out. But I'm thinking that today is going to be today's going to be quite a hard ride. What do you think of my new my new sticker bombed glasses? Did this a couple of days ago. I know that like every man and his dog has sticker bombed Oakleys now or sticker bombed. So cycling glasses. But I think when you do it yourself and it looks good, just makes it a little bit a little bit more cool. So I made it through all of the busy roads. Now we're on to the good stuff. You know it's gonna be a hard session when you have to write what you're doing on your stem so you don't forget what you're doing. Basically, in summary, what this means is, or basically the motto for today's ride, go out, find a box, get in that box, and stay in it. Oh. I just completed the first two efforts. I'm at the top of a climb here called Waddington Fell. I don't come up here half as much as I should do. It's probably one of like the highest points in this area. It's kind of around 1,300 feet. It's not. It's not that high. There's not that many high points in Lancashire in terms of like elevation. But I just love it here because there is literally nothing. Just open roads, hills, fields, and and bike and bike riders. But yeah, I'm gonna turn around, and go back down. I love this descent, it's so fast. And then uh, I'm just gonna loop around the Ribble Valley a little bit. I've got some more efforts to do yet. But I'm enjoying today's ride. So uh, it's nice to be out in the Ribble Valley, as always. Two hours later. I haven't pulled the camera out too much today. It's one of those rides where it's kind of hard to kind of hard to film a vlog because I'm either doing an effort or I'm recovering for the next effort. It's quite a, quite an intense quite an intense ride today but I'm just uh, approaching the final hour now I've done the bulk of of the efforts today I got a few more to do uh, to finish up with some sprints and stuff it's quite handy actually that there's no well it's Sunday today I don't know if I mentioned that in, in the start of the vlog but it's Sunday today and uh, there's no there's no racing on this weekend it's like it's almost the only weekend uh, sort of for the, for the foreseeable future like during the season where I'm not racing so it allows it's a good opportunity especially like coming off that little bit of an illness I had it's a good opportunity to get in some solid miles and get in some solid training sessions because my next my next race is actually quite well it's, it's a very big one it's the Chorley GP which is the first round of the the elite road series the, the premier calendar series here in the UK and it's also going to be like our first proper race as a team like racing sort of together and that team uh, that team atmosphere. I'm riding on some grippy roads today. See if we're up, down, there's hardly any flat. All right, one hour, got about four intervals to go. Let's do this. Oh, he's flying a drone. I remember when I had a drone. RIP Mavic, he's, uh, he's flying around Spain somewhere. So today, I've made an observation. I want to get your guys' opinion on this. I've noticed a lot of runners, you know, notably, I don't want to generalize, but notably, like females that go out running with a big pair of sunglasses on. Why is this? I mean, when we cycle, we wear glasses to A, keep the wind out of our eyes, B, keep dirt out of our eyes because we're moving quite fast. Like, is that the same sort of theory behind running as well? I honestly don't know. Leave your thoughts and opinions and suggestions in the comments down below. I can only apologize for the lack of uh, cycling content on today's video. Just coming to the end of what's been quite a hard ride. Uh, some grippy efforts today and some grippy intervals. But all in all, it's been a pretty solid day out. I've got a tra well, my, training stress my training stress score for that ride today. It's been just over 260, which in layman's terms is quite high. Just over four hours of riding and I stayed dry. Good day. Okay, so I've had quite a lot of questions regarding my new glasses. Well, my ex existing glasses that I um, that I wrapped. I did these Blizz ones in, as you can see, like a sticker bomb kind of film wrap. But anyway, I've had a lot of questions, namely like, how did I do it? Can I make a video? How how you can do it to your own glasses? And I might make a video eventually, like how how like how to do it, the process of it, content. But not right now. Like if any of you guys want like this doing to your glasses, I am willing to do it. Like not to make money, just to sort of cover the cost. My way to give back to you guys a little bit for watching these videos as, as a way to say thank you so head over to my email address send me an email and like if you're willing to cover the cost and the time uh, to do it then i'm more than happy to wrap your guys uh, oakley's cycling glasses whatever brand whatever the case may be i bought obviously this the sticker bomb wrap i've got like a carbon a carbon wrap there an herbo camo wrap this in like black and white art detail thing which is pretty cool so yeah send me an email and i'll do it for you
a bit of a shorter video today. Also ending today's vlog here again. I think I've ended my like my last two or three videos in this same position. Maybe it's going to be a start of a new tradition, I don't know. But anyway guys, that's going to be the end of today's video. Uh, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, really appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow at 5 p.m.